Hi, welcome to Easy CA Tutorials, where we teach you how to create a PKI in minutes using Easy CA. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite features, which is our integration with Azure Key Vault for certificate creation. So the first thing you have to do is go to your Azure Key Vault and go to Access Control and make sure you have added the Kitos application as a reader. We do this to make sure that people actually have access. So we'll read the ACLs to make sure that you have access to requests for that Key Vault. So just add the key in the Ketos one, make sure that it's a Ketos and not the Ketos uh, client. And we're gonna click review and assign. And then after that, we have to go to access policies to actually give it permissions to create the certificate. So we're gonna go into add access policies, then certificate permissions, we only need get, create and update. Then we're gonna select those. And here we're gonna add the Ketos app again. We're gonna click select and we're gonna click add. Don't forget to click save. If not, it's not gonna be saved. And then after that, we can go back to EasyCA. And in here, we're in the domains. It's the fastest way. You could technically do it from certificates and click create new certificate. But if you do it from domains, we'll actually pre-fill everything for that specific domain. So we're gonna go here. And as you can see, it already has a subject name with Ketos and then the DNS name with Ketos. You can add more DNS names. And then in here, we have different options. Today, as I said, we're gonna use my favorite one. Azure Key Vault. So now, as you can see, uh, Easy CA won and got all my subscriptions and all my key vaults in that subscription. And now I'm going to select this key vault that is the one that I want. As you see, you, you don't even have to go to the key vault to create the CSR and everything. Uh, Easy CA will do everything for you, but you can also do an auto renew. So it'll automatically renew the certificate at the percentage of lifetime. So once you create this certificate, it's kind of like set and forget you set it and if you're using VM extensions that it will pull the certificate or if you're using uh, get the certificate in your code from the key vault, it'll do all that automatically. You have to never care again for rotating that certificate. So after that, we're just going to go ahead and click request certificate. And as fast as that, it was able to create the certificate. We can download the certificate here and have it in your computer. This is just a public part. It doesn't have the private key. Private key never leaves key vault. Or we can just go to here and we'll see that it, it just created a new certificate. Um, and you can see that it's the domain name without dots and everything. Key vault doesn't like dots. And then we add easy CA. So you know that it's an easy CA managed certificate. Then we add a random number just to avoid collisions in case you have multiple. We don't want to create a new version because actually versioning is controlled by the name of the secret in key vault. So we, do, we don't want to do that. So we just create a random number to make sure that it's unique. And you can see here it's the current version. And the cool thing about this is we have set up auto renew, but also if we want to, let's say, the key gets compromised or something and we want to renew it we can just go back to our my certificates and just click renew and once again ketos is going renewing the certificate and if we go here now we have the new certificate so this is the amazing thing about uh easy ca akv integration it really removes all the complex things out of managing and creating certificates and it just makes it one click for everything thank you for watching i hope you're enjoying this tool as much as we do if you have any feedback please let us know we're always working with our customers to make this better so thank you and we'll talk soon